Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the Rage plugin hook from crashing. Well, it works for me. I mean, it may work for y'all. You know, you can put it to the use and see if it works. We're going to cut straight to it. No intro, no long talking, no sitting here blabbering around, la 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 la. Only thing I ask you to do is hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it, and that's it. Let's go. One thing that I always do, I mean, you can do it too, is disable your antivirus when you're playing GTA, just so it don't run into any problems. So before you start playing just go ahead and just disable it you type in Windows Defender or whatever it is on your computer mine is under Windows Security I go over here manage settings and just the real-time protection I just turned it off and after that you pretty much like done on that part I mean long as you just not like downloading anything else while it's turned off then you should be fine second you want to locate where your GTA 5 is installed many people have it different places like the C drive or external drives wherever you have it installed just pull it up all right so I located mines I have it in my C drive so what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find the rage plugin hook make sure you have it up to date you know because sometimes when it's not up to date you run into problems so make sure you have the latest version of the rage plugin hook installed so you don't have any problem and then for what you want to do now is right click Oh, my mouse just died. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right, hey, come on. In the middle of the video, really? God damn it. All right. <laughs> All right, so what you want to do now is just pin it to the taskbar. Sorry about the mouse problem. <laughs> so you have it down here below, as you can see. And just after that, just exit out. <clears throat> I like to run the game from the Rockstar Games launcher. I mean, you can do it from Steam. It's the same like type of deal, as long as you get the game running. So I'm just gonna let that load up. All right. So as you can see, it's pulled up. So it's play on Steam. So before you do anything, so like pretty much whenever you hit play on Steam, it's gonna load the game up. And then when you pretty much get to the black screen where you see the game loading in. You want to hit the Windows key on your keyboard. Um, I'll put it on the screen so you can see what it looks like. I mean, pretty sure every keyboard has like a Windows key to like go back out of the screen. To I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're gonna hit Play on Steam. I'm gonna let the game load up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so now when the game loading up right here, you can see everything pop up. You want to hit the Windows key, and it's going to bring you back down to the little menu bar. And then you want to hit the Rage plugin hook. As you can see, it says validating hook, and it's going to be hooking the game. This is what's running now. And then just go back to the screen where the game is on. Just hit that. There we go. So now we full screen with it. I'm gonna let the game load up so you guys can see that it you know works perfect and stuff like that. Only time I be having problems when the game is crashing is like if I upload a bunch of plugins, like new plugins to the game, like it crashes on the beginning because I guess the game is recognizing all the new plugins I put into there. But after that, when I reload the game back in, like I'm pretty sure the, they recognize the plugins and stuff like that, and it usually works fine, no problem. <clears throat> So yeah, it's just a simple fix that um, you know, I figured out on my own. I was like, I got tired of just loading it from Rage Plugin Hook, and then like the game just always used to crash all the time. So I was like, it got to be a way that I can kind of like get past all this. So I just figured out just by pinning it to the taskbar, loading the game up, hitting the Windows key to get back down to the, the menu bar, so I can hit the Rage Plugin Hook, so it can hook the game instance. Reloading now. Sorry about my little raspy voice, man. I just woke up not too long ago. <laughs> Alrighty, and we loaded in. Oh yeah, I forgot about this car. This car don't have no texture what to it. What the hell? But yeah. So as you can see, all the little plugins I have on to the left hand side of the screen is all loaded up. Everything's good to go. Put it off. Let's go. No way. This is fucking. Uh, all right. Uh, 
So man, yeah, if y'all like the video, man, you know, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're having any problems, you know, comment down below. Maybe I can help you out. I'm still kind of new to all of this, um, you know, mods install and plugins and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm pretty sure I can share some of my knowledge that I've used to apply some of the things that I know. But alright, man, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Peace.